Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 046 underscore DIADM where you saved it. Hold down the control, shift and type S on your keyboard. This being the save drawing as dialog box, rename this file to 00 underscore 047 underscore DIADM. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, go to the file of type and click AutoCAD 2018. Now click this down arrow and change this to AutoCAD 2007. Click the save button to rename this file. In the last tutorial, we complete our roof. In this tutorial, we are going to draw the article and the gables. Hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button to orbit. If you look at this area, you see an open area. So to address this problem, go to the Home tab and draw panel. Select the Polyline command. As specified, first point prompt. Click at the end point of this line. Go to the status bar and click the Polar Tracking button. Snap at an angle of 135 degree. Press Escape to get out of the command. Hold down the Shift key and the middle mouse button. Press Enter to repeat the Polyline command. At specify start point prompt, click at this end point. Now hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button. Move and snap to 315 degree. Click press escape. Go to the home tab, layer panel and select the freeze command. Click to freeze the roof layer. Press escape. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. At specify first object prompt, move the mouse cursor, avoid the mouse cursor into this vertex. Now move the mouse cursor and snap to the inter this intersection snap to this vertex this vertex this intersection type c and press enter select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab drop panel and select the polyline command at the specified start point prompt click on this end point click here snap snap type c on your keyboard and press enter press enter to repeat the command snap from this point this point this point type c on your keyboard and press enter press enter to repeat the command start from this end point this point this point type c on your keyboard and press enter hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button in this area i pick the wrong point now go to the home tab layer panel and click the freeze command freeze this slab and freeze this solid this solid press escape go to the home tab layer panel select the freeze command freeze this solid freeze this line freeze the step press escape select this polyline click on this grid and snap it to this vertex go to the home tab drop panel and select the polyline command as specify start point prompt start from this vertex this vertex this vertex this vertex type c on your keyboard and press enter press enter to repeat the 3d polyline command select this vertex this vertex this vertex type c on your keyboard and press enter Press enter, start the polyline from this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, type C and press enter. Press enter, start the polyline from this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, and perpendicular to this line, type C on the keyboard and press enter. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. Start from this corner, this corner, this corner this corner type c on your keyboard and press enter select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab drop panel and select the polyline command start from this vertex this vertex this vertex this vertex type c and press enter press enter to repeat the command start from this vertex this vertex this vertex this vertex type c on your keyboard and press enter press enter to repeat the command Try from this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, type C on your keyboard and press enter. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. Use the midpoint object snap and snap to the midpoint of this wall. Snap to the midpoint of the perpendicular object, object snap, or perpendicular of this edge. Snap to this vertex, this vertex, type C to close the figure. Press enter, start from this corner, this corner this corner this corner press type c on your keyboard to close the figure right click and repeat the p line command start from this corner this corner this corner this corner type c press enter press enter to repeat the command start from this corner this corner this corner this corner type c 
Let's enter to close the figure. Let's enter. Start from this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. Type C on your keyboard to close the figure. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. Start from this corner, move into the 45 degree angle and click on this intersection. Click, click, type C to close the figure. Press enter to repeat the command. Start from this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. Type C to close the figure. Press enter to end the command. Start from this corner. Type C, close the figure. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Draw a line from this corner and snap to this corner. Press escape. St press enter to start the line command. Draw a line and snap perpendicular to this line. Press escape. Press enter. Draw a line, snap perpendicular to this line. Press enter. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. Now start the polyline from this corner, this corner this corner this corner type c on your keyboard to close the figure press enter to repeat the command start a line from this corner this corner this corner this corner type c on your keyboard and press enter to close the figure go to the visual style control click realistic and select 2d wireframe select this line and hit delete on your keyboard select this line this line hit delete on your keyboard go to the visual style control and select realistic Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Draw a polyline from this corner to this corner, this corner, this corner. Type C on your keyboard to close the figure. Press enter. Draw a line from this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. Type C. Press enter to close the figure. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Start from this point, this point, this point, this. Type C. Close the figure. Press enter. Start the line from this point. This corner. This corner. This corner. Type C to close the figure. Press enter. Start the line from this corner. This corner. This corner. This corner. Type C to close the figure. Press enter. Start the line from this corner. This corner. This corner. This corner, type C, press enter to close the figure. Start the line from this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, type C to close the figure. Right click into the drawing area, isolate, end object isolation. Go to the visual side control, click realistic and select 2D wireframe. Select this polyline and this solid, right click, select similar, right click, isolate, isolate object. Now go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. At specify first object point, click on this vertex, turn on the auto mode, move the mouse cursor and move approximately 3000 meter or type 3000 meter on your keyboard, millimeter on your keyboard and press enter. Press escape. Right click into drawing area, isolate and object isolation. Now select this polyline, right click, select similar. Select this lab, right click, isolate, isolate object. You see the line is, this line is drawn on the wrong level. Select this line and go to the home tab, modify panel and select the move command. As first by this point point, click here and move it down the here. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the polyline command. As specifying starting point point, click on this corner, move the mouse cursor and snap to this corner, this corner. Use the perpendicular objects now to snap to this corner.
type C on the keyboard to close the figure. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. Press enter, trim off this line, line, this line, this line, this line. Press escape. Type join on your keyboard. Press enter. Select this polyline. Select this line. Press enter. AutoCAD join this object. Now, right click into the drawing area, isolate, end object isolation. Go to the view com visual side control. Click the 2D wireframe and select realistic. Select this polyline. Right click. Select similar. Right click. Isolate. Isolate object. Go to the home tab. Layer panel. Click the down arrow and make the 3D wall layer the current layer. Go to the 3D tools tab. Modeling panel and select the extrude command. At the select object to extrude from, select this object, this object, this object, this object, press enter, move the mouse cursor into the positive Z axis and type 560mm, press enter. Right click into the drawing area, isolate, end object isolation. Change the visual style to 2D wireframe. Go to the home tab, layer panel and select the isolate command. Select this polyline and select this surface press enter go to the visual side control click the 2d wireframe and select realistic now select this 2d polyline this two polyline go to the 3d tool tab modeling panel and select the extrude command as specific extrusion height prompt click at the at the end point of this surface now go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command as specify starting point prompt click at the end point of this surface now turn on the auto mode and move the mouse cursor to the negative z direction and click press escape go to the home tab draw panel and select the 2d point line command and specify start point prompt click at the start point of this surface turn on the polar tracking hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit move and use the perpendicular object snap and snap to this line press escape Use a window selection to select these lines, this line, right click, select similar, right click, isolate, isolate object. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the extend command. Press enter. Extend this line to this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the break command. Select this polyline, move the mouse cursor and click on this intersection. This polyline is being brick. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the brick command. Select this polyline and click on this point. Now the polyline is being brick. Select this line, re-delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, this line. Select this line, this line, press escape. Now use a window selection and select this polyline, hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Start from this point, this point, this point, this point, type C on your keyboard and press enter. Right click into drawing area, isolate, end object isolation. Zoom in into this area, select this polyline, go to the 3D tool tab modeling panel and select the extrude command hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button to orbit move the mouse cursor and snap to the end point of this surface now go to the 3d to start solid edit panel and select the slide command select the solid press enter type s press enter select the surface click on this solid go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command as specified first point prompt click on this area Move approximately 1000 millimeter. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Go to the home tab, draw panel, and select the line command. As specified, first point prompt, click on this end point. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Snap to this end point. Press escape. Now select this polyline, this polyline, this, this polyline, this polyline. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel, and select the extrude command. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. At the specified extrusion height prompt, snap at the intersection of the line that you draw just now to extrude the solid. Select this polyline, 
go to the three little self modeling point and select the extrude command i specify extrusion height point snap to this end point select this object this object this object go to the home tab modify panel and select the extrude command move the mouse cursor and type 560 press enter select this object and this object go to the 3d drill tab modern panel and select the extrude command remove type 750 millimeter press enter press enter to repeat the extrude command select this polyline press enter and snap to this edge of this roof select this polyline go to the 3d drill tab modeling panel and select the extrude command Move the mouse cursor up and type 560 millimeter. Press enter. Select this object. Go to the 3D tab. Modeling panel and select the extrude command. Move up and type 560. Press enter. Go to the 3D tool tab. Solid edge panel and select the slide command. At the select object from select this solid. Press enter. Type S on the keyboard and press enter. Select the surface and click in this area. Now right click the UCS. Select the face option. Hover the mouse cursor into this face, press enter. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel, and select the box command. I specify start point, start from this point. Now move this, the mouse cursor into this direction. Approximately like mine, click. Move to the Z axis and click. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel, and select the subtract command. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. At the select object from select this solid, press enter. At the select object from select this other solid, press enter. Select this polyline, this polyline. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel, and select the extrude command. Snap at the end point of this surface. Zoom in into this area. Right click the UCS, select the face option. Click on this surface, press enter. Go to the home tab, modeling panel, and select the box command. I specify first corner point, click on this point, move the mouse cursor and specify the plan approximately like this. Move to the Z axis and click. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the subtract for now. Select the solid, press enter. Select the solid, press enter. Right click the UCS, go to the face option and hover it to this face. Press enter. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel, and select the box command. I specify first corner prompt. Snap at this point. Now move the mouse cursor and snap into this corner. Move the box up and type 2000 millimeter. Press enter. Select this box. Hold down the control and shift and type C on your keyboard. At the specifying this point prompt, click on this area. Now, press escape. Hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button to orbit. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the subtract command. Select this solid, press enter, select this box and press enter. Hold down the control key and type V on your keyboard. At specifying insertion point prompt, click on this end point. Go to the visual style, click realistic and select 2D wireframe. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the subtract command. Select this solid, press enter, and this solid, press enter. Right click and select the realistic. Right click into the UCS and select the face option. Click on this face, press enter. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel and select the box command. As with my first corner prompt, click on this corner, move the mouse cursor into this direction and click move up and type 2000 millimeter press enter go to the visual style change the visual style to 2d wireframe go to the 3d tool tabs solid edit panel and select the subtract command select the solid press enter select the solid press enter click the 2d wireframe and select realistic right click the ucs select the face option have the face into this surface press enter to accept Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel, and select the box command. At the specifying first corner prompt, click on this corner. Move the mouse cursor into this direction and click. Move up and type 1000 millimeter. Press enter. Go to the visual style, click realistic, and select 2D wireframe. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel, and select the subtract command. Select the solid. 
Press enter and select the solid. Press enter. Click the 3D wireframe and select realistic. Go to the home tab, draw panel, click the down arrow and select the 3D polyline. I specify first point point, click at this end point, select this end point and this end point. Press escape, select this line, go to the 3D tools tab and select the extrude command. Move the mouse cursor and click to this direction. Go to the 3D tools tab, solid edit panel and select the slice command. Select the solid, press enter, type S, press enter and select the surface. Click on the solid. Select the surface and hit delete on your keyboard. Now go to the visual style control, click down and select 2D wireframe. Go to the 3D tools tab, solid edit panel and select the press pull command. Select the face of this solid and move up, type 500 millimeter, press enter. Do the same thing in this corner, move up, type 500 millimeter, press enter. Press escape to get out of command. Select the 2D wireframe and select realistic. Go to the 3D, 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the slide command. At the select object from select this object, this object, press enter. Type S on your keyboard and press enter. Select this surface. Now click on this solid and this solid. Select the surface and hit delete on your keyboard. Now select this solid, right click, select similar, go to the home tab, layer panel, move this object into the 2D walls layer. Click the close button. Right click into the drawing area, isolate end object isolation. Go to the home tab, layer panel and click the on isolate command. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit around to see the result. We are filling the gap of the the roof in the ground floor plan so we're going to end this video here in the next tutorial we'll move up to the top part of this drawing if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.